so I wanted to make this video to talk about my BBL journey. It is something I've been wanting to do for many, many, many years. Um, I'm finally going to do it. Um, I'm very excited. I'm kind of nervous. Not for the surgery itself. I'm nervous because I'll be flying by myself. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll be okay. Um, what made me want to get this surgery done is I have two kids and, um, you know, after having kids, your body changes, but don't get me wrong. I am very confident. I'm, you know, happy in my own skin or whatever you want to call it. But you know, if you can afford it, why not look better? And that's really what I wanted. Um, my goal is more for like a, I want a snatched waist. It's not so much for the butt. I feel I kind of already have a nice looking butt and that's really not why I want it. Like I'm okay if my results aren't like a big old booty. And just to be clear, I don't want a big old ghetto booty. I don't want a Nicki Minaj booty, a Kim Kardashian booty. I don't want that fake, huge, I don't know, badonk donk. <laughs> um, I would be more okay with like the upside down heart shape. That's kind of what I already got going on. It's just, you know, I got some love handles going on and I'm just not, you know, I don't want that going. Um, so I made my appointment October 2018 and my surgery date is March 1st, 2019. So I am about two weeks pre-op. Um, my surgery will be with Dr. Samson. Um, he's with Seduction Cosmetics. Um, I will be staying at a recovery house. Recovery Just For You, that's the name of the place. Um, I'll give more information about the recovery house and after that, after my experience. Um, I originally wanted to go to a different recovery house, um, but they were already booked and I wasn't going to change my date, so I found another one that I, you know, I did a lot of research on it, and I really like it so far. Um, a lot of people want to talk negative about it. Like, where I'm from, it's not something that people just do, go get their bodies fixed, no. Um, I personally only know about two people maybe in our whole town that <laughs> has had surgery done to them. Um, I really need some boobs. That's, I'm gonna, you know, get those one day too. I don't want huge boobs, just some boobs, because I have zero, I am a size zero. <laughs> when people ask me, I'm like zero, that, that's what's there, zero. Um, I have two kids. And this is like a gift for myself. I am about to turn 30 years old, dirty 30. And um, I just want to, you know, continue to feel bombers, you know. And as I was already saying, support system is not so great. Like my boss, I have to tell him because I have to take time off work and I'm a store manager. So, you know, he's going to have to cover the store for me. I'll be taking off two weeks. Um, I'll be in Miami for a week, and then I'll be at home recovering for another week. Um, going back to work, he, like I said, I told him because I want them to be understanding when I come back. Like I talked to my whole team at work about it, my crew, you know, my assistant managers, they all, you know, they're understanding and 
you know they're about the only people that are just like yay go get this done you know but like family my mom she thinks I'm crazy <laughs> um, I haven't told my dad or my uncle you know they're like about the only people that live here in town that are gonna see me I haven't told my brother either so they're probably gonna look at me like I'm crazy and that's gonna be after they see it done because I'm not telling them before the fact I just don't want people trying to talk me out of it I know all the risk I know everything that comes with it and I'm still choosing to do it you know it's my money it's my body and really opinions don't matter <laughs> they don't matter to me I am completely fine and happy and convinced of what I'm doing like my boss did kind of try to talk me out of it like oh you're beautiful the way you are just are you you know crazy I said yeah I'm a crazy person so I like to do crazy things so <laughs> you know a lot of people get it done I know the risk I know you know people can die from it but I'm going into this you know fully aware of all that so and I'm still choosing to do it so leave me alone um, I don't stop saying um, let's say, um, I did get some stuff I ordered off of, um, Amazon and then now I'm not even going to need half that stuff because, um, my recovery house provides most of it. They only want me to take my antibiotic soap because you have to have that to, um, take a shower before the night before and the day of surgery. Um, other things like arnica gel, arnica tea, arnica pills, uh, all that I had got because my sur my surgeon required me to or wanted me to. So I'll have it at home for when I come back. But all of that, my recovery house provides all of that. Uh, they wanted you to buy, I, they gave me a whole list of things like pads for the bleeding, um, Faja, the Faja is included with my surgery package. I will be buying an extra, well, I already bought an extra one, but it's like stage two, so it's smaller. I already bought my foams. Come to find out, they were already my, included in my package too. Um, BBL Pillow is already included in my package. Uh, Compression socks, I'll be buying extras. You know, nobody wants to walk around with dirty socks for a few days. Um, let's see. Clothes, they only want you to take, you know, three to four, like maxi dress, loose fitted dress, and maybe a robe. They don't want any of that extra stuff. You know, you're packing, you know, it has to be very small. You're not going to go nowhere. You're going to be recovering and... There's no point, even though you're in Miami, it's not like you can go sit down and have a meal or, I don't know, go to the mall. Some girls do because I've watched a lot of videos and some of these girls, they are out here or out there shopping and doing all that. I'm planning on just laying on my stomach, walking around the recovery house, feeling better, and then coming home. Mm. Let's say the lab work. They did require me to have the lab work in a month before my surgery, and I did go and get my lab work done about a week. Oh no, a month and two weeks before my surgery, and then it just took my it took my doctor or the clinic that I went to forever to get it back. To my surgeon i had a call over and over and over and keep requesting it and they was just taking their sweet old time and i was getting very upset <laughs> had to act out a little bit um but they got those in they went over them i'm fit for the surgery um, my doctor's highest bmi is at a 37 i think i was at 38 or less was it a 36 i think a 36 uh, the vitamins that they have me taking is just whole regular folic acid and then they want you to take iron and vitamin C I got these off of Amazon but that's what they want you to 
take to get ready at least a month before your surgery. I've been taking them for about two months uh, just to be sure because I'm not that healthy. After I had the second kid, I just don't go to the gym anymore. I've been eating very unhealthy. Just haven't been on my best behavior. But I'm gonna get it back together, you know. Paying all this money to get my body right, I will keep up with it. I'm not playing. Another thing that I've seen a lot of girls on YouTube take is this right here. I don't know how to pronounce the word, <laughs> but this is for your skin. So, um,. You know, after all the lipo and all that, your skin is going to be stretched out. Mine is already stretched out. I already, you know, had kids. Um, so it, it kind of helps and rebuilds the cells, blah, 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 something to do with the skin, to tighten your skin. So I already started taking those, and it's good to take before your surgery and to keep taking them after your surgery to, you know, compress. It helps with all that. Um, I am two weeks pre-op as I already said I believe and I just came to YouTube not for support system but for some people to talk to about it because you know I know there's a lot of people out there that have questions and I don't know I have a lot of questions and you know if people just hit me up about that I'll, I'll be very happy I really have nobody to talk to about it you know like I said people don't get this done where I'm from so any questions please ask me um, I know I'm not, I didn't cover a whole lot of stuff but there will be you know many more videos coming to talk about those kind of things I will you know vlog as much as I can while out of town and when I'm at the surgery place and all that and to see how that goes. You know, I'm sure I'm gonna be very bored the whole time I'm there, so I'll be on my social medias, you know, talking to you guys and so that's it. Like I said, any questions, just comment and let me know. Add me on my other social medias, you know, they'll be posted on here and That's it.